the freaking ball. We're out of battle. The freaking at the freaking ball. Yeah. yeah, pass that roach, please, and pour the wine. I'll kiss yours if you kiss mine. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is the Freaker's Ball, live right now, right here on RealLibertyMedia.com this Friday evening, November 29, 2019. Yeah, we are here. We're live and we're streaming to the places we stream to, uh, primarily to the RealLibertyMedia.com page, uh, Freaker's Ball show page. Also, the video is streaming live on Vaughn.live slash Real Liberty Media. So if you want to check out the video, which you ought to do, uh, go to one of those two places and you will see the video streaming live. Uh, also, we are on the audio cast on the audio stream, uh, which goes out to a variety of places. Our, our, our LM radio.xyz for one, freedomsnetwork.com for one, realliberty.org for another, and a host of other places where people may be listening in, tuned in from, and uh, welcome to you all as well. Hopefully y'all had a good turkey day. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, turkey day was yesterday, so hopefully y'all had a good one of those, had a nice feast. Those of you that do that thing, you know, if you're in the U.S. of A, uh, you would be the ones I'd be speaking to on that because, well... It's a USA type thing. It don't work in other countries. They don't have it in Canada or Mexico or Europe or Asia or <laughs> Africa, I assume. <laughs> uh, but they do here in the US of A. So uh, if y'all are here in the US of A, which most of our people are, uh, then I uh, hope you had a good turkey day. hope you got some good leftovers left over and you're just chowing down on those, whether it was turkey or something else. Or maybe in combination with other things, who knows? Uh, Miss Circle over there in uh, that Danish land seems to be kind of uh, glued to the concept of the turducken. Now, I don't mean she would actually like to have one. She just finds it highly humorous. So, <laughs> having never uh, sampled the turducken myself, I can't really tell her how that uh, experience might go, but... Uh, I don't know. You take a chicken, you stuff it inside a duck, and you stuff the duck inside the turkey. Uh, not exactly how you do it, I guess, but whatever. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so there's that. Anyway, let me say hi and howdy to the folks that are here in the chat room, which, if you're not in the chat room, come on over. Jump on into the chat here at RealLibertyMedia.com, and you can talk with all the fine folks that are here. You can make song requests, talk about the stories and stuff. We talk about the music we play. It's just a... It's just a good old time. So come on over. Say howdy hi. Yes, indeed. We got in here tonight. We got the barman. He's my bot. He's my bot buddy. Uh, we got Beetle and Cowboy Jack. Uh, Mr. Me. Mr. Me. Grimnar. Moose Girl um, normally would be right there, but she's rebooting at the present time. So, uh, you know, <laughs> she'll be here soon enough, I, I guess. We got Miss Kate who had the awesome barbecue foods. So, uh, yeah, good stuff there, man. Uh, we, we got Anti and Asmodeus Asmo. Uh, yeah, he's a, Asmo has a birthday coming up in about uh, 24, 25 days, something like that. He, his birthday is Christmas Day, for those of you unaware of that. Look at that, the uh, audio stream dropped out. It's, how's my video stream doing? That's still running? Nope, I am, I am not doing good. I am not doing good on streaming here. My streams are dropping out left and right. Uh, I also have disconnected from various uh, IRC servers. Apparently, uh, yeah. So the audio stream uh, looks like it's back, and the video stream looks like it's coming back. I, I may, I may be having some connectivity issues. Uh, there was one not too long before the show started, uh, but uh, we'll see how this all goes. Uh, it could be a Comcast issue, um, so we'll check it out. Hopefully everything's good. Uh, thanks, CT, for letting me know that, that I am back. Also, okay, we got Chalcedonian Echelon, the Java Doctor, Mr. Meister, Mooster Brow, Ponder Gander. Uh, Vinny came on earlier today, and he played some... Uh, uh, 
hit hit type uh, Christmas music. So yeah, all right. Uh, we got the poopster and Prince, uh, Mr. Realms, aka Trust No One, Vanna Whitebot, Vin E himself, the Weather Dark Bot, Phantom to obscure a circle, Cyborg Noodle, E Man, Ensive, Frumpy, uh, Frump, Frump, Frumpster. He, he's one of them Canadians I was talking about that doesn't do the Thanksgiving thing. Uh, he could actually do it Thanksgiving, I don't know, but uh, it's not a thing up there. We have Gromit JJ's in the leftover leftover crack. <laughs> okay, leftover crack, whoever you are. Uh, we got Pone Sauce, the sock puppet, SLC Mike, Slim Jim Flim, the smart ass bot. Yes, indeed, that's uh, that's uh, Rob Works bot. Although, did I did I see Rob Works? I don't see Rob Works. I don't know where Rob is. He's he's hiding out somewhere. We got the holiest of Roger and Mister Zipix. Zebex, so uh, I see Moose Girl has rejoined the chat here, which means she should be on the uh, phoning in uh, momentarily to the to the to the stream. Now today, today was uh, Black Friday, yeah. So I, I didn't really hear about any uh, big fights or anything. There was a deal. Um, there was one story about these two women apparently fighting over. What were they fighting over? A vacuum cleaner, I think. Um, uh, which, okay. <laughs> but that was really it. Normally on, or previously on Black Fridays, there was all kinds of stories about people uh, bursting into the stores and fighting over whatever garbage the store was selling at a cheapo bargain. But not so much today. It was, uh, it was kind of a quiet one. And maybe because now people are finally catching on that, you know, you get the same deal. If you just go online and order it, and then you don't have to fight the crowds, you don't have to fight the people, and they'll send it right to your house within a couple of days. It's a it's a sweet thing. And so why go into the store when you don't have to? When you don't have to fight all those people? Is is there something special about that? I, and I I know uh, some some malls were probably jam packed today, people looking for bargains and maybe getting bargains, but apparently at a lesser quantity than they previously have uh, on, on these other Black Fridays. Now, I myself wasn't going to buy anything on on the uh, Black Friday deal at all, uh, and I seen a tweet from somebody about these, uh, uh, who was it? Walmart, I think, selling towels at $1.60 a pop. I went on the Walmart site. I couldn't find them. But while I was doing that, I ran across something I do need, well, which is which is a new set of bed sheets, um, and I looked through their stuff and I found some pretty decent things there, um, but but they want a minimum of thirty five dollars, and you're probably saying to yourself thirty five bucks for bed sheet that's a good deal. It, it is and it's not because the ones I wanted were were cheaper than that. They were like seventeen eighteen dollars something like that. So I said, hey, why don't I just go to Amazon? They'll ship something to me if it only cost a penny, you know, for free. So I went to uh, to Amazon and I found some uh, nice ones for eleven dollars. <laughs> I ordered those, so I participated in the Black Friday madness. Although you know, not really, uh, not I didn't buy any gifts or anything. I was just buying something that I actually needed <laughs> at a discounted price. So so there was that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? Oh, yesterday yeah, I cooked a little turkey roast. It was a little three pound roast. That's what I had for my for my turkey day thing, and uh, I made some uh, corn muffins. Those are really good. Uh, the day before that, I baked up some chocolate chip cookies. I always forget. I always forget how freaking good my chocolate chip cookies are. If I don't make them for a few months. And I make some, and it's like, wow, <laughs> these are the best cookies. Yeah, these, these, are, who's that, uh, that one woman, woman cookie maker? Um, I can't recall her name offhand, but, uh, yeah, I, I'd kick her ass in a cookie baking contest. Yeah, uh, I forget her name. Anyway, but yeah, so I, I made those cookies yesterday, uh, on Wednesday. And man, I'm telling you, those are the best freaking cookies on the planet. Anyway, hi, Moose. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. 
That's good to know. Being in there. Yeah. So you had to you had to reboot right at showtime, huh? Well, I thought the video feed was. I thought it was my machine. It's not my machine. It's not. The video feed does not work on ROM. Oh, well, did you go over to Vaughn? Yeah. Okay, and you got the video feed there. But it shouldn't be that way. I know, but did you? I, that's right. I was going to check on that last week. I'm there. on that, okay. but it's not. It's. It doesn't work for me on Chrome or on the other browser. So through real through, through Real Liberty Media. Yes. But does it work through Vaughn? Yes. Okay, great. Now you notice I put a new picture up there. Mm. Well, one of your one of your little pictures. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah. That's cool. Is that guy? What's that guy? Is Justin something? Julian Davis. Julian. Julian Davis. Yeah, he was talking about Miss, Mrs. Fields, I think, weren't you, Graham? Yeah, yeah, Mrs. Field, that's who. Yeah, I was going to saying I could kick her ass in a cookie baking contest. But you haven't tried my co- chocolate chip cookies. Well, no, I haven't. I haven't. Moose is louder. Moose is louder. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, that's all right. I that's love all right. Louder. Yeah, I know. Well, let me go I love, check. I love being fucking louder. <laughs> it's no big deal. I just got to go and check my uh, uh, settings over here. Where's where it? Oh, it's the wire. Oh, yeah. See, I got to It always fucking happens. Yeah, well, you know, that's wire for you. Well, it's not wire. It's it's the it's the Windows mixer. But you should be you should be normalized now. So all right, good. Turn you down. Don't turn Moose down. Turn her up. Turn her all the way up. Turn her up to eleven. No, I do not want to be. <laughs> I may have taken you down too far. That's all right. I do not want to be loud, dude. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, All right. So, anyway, I was just talking about the uh, Thanksgiving dinner stuff yeah. that I made. And, uh, good. Yeah, so. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so, no, I have not had your cookies. No, I'll, I'll send you some. Okay, well. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> All right. Actually, I won't, but if you do, that'd be great. <laughs> okay. Uh, God, Chloe, Chloe makes some nice cookies. She sent some, sent some to me last year. And uh, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully she'll send some more this year. We'll see. Yeah, uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, you know, what the hell? I like I like cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know peop- many people who don't like cookies. I mean, right, I'm right. sure there's people out there that don't, but I am not one of them. Yeah, you know, what's wrong with those people? I do not know. Yeah, Han- Hans Hans was talking to me a good bit about pies. He's got he's got some kind of hang up with pies. Well, yeah. e- either he's got to hang up with pies or he's got to hang up with me. I'm not <laughs> sure. Could be both. I think it's an obsession, Grim. <laughs> Could be both. Uh, any, anyway, so uh, he he was just uh, uh, amazed that I wasn't having pie. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not a real big pie for a person, you know. So, uh, so yeah, but you were t- saying. How I got the Marie Callender's, you know? Oh, right, yeah, you bought a Marie pumpkin Callender. Pie. Pie, it's right. supposed to be like 100% pumpkin. Okay, no, I, I, it probably is, but I just, you know, uh, would be uh, a little concerned about the uh, added ingredients that you don't know are in there. You know. Well, whatever. they say there's none in there, so I don't know. Okay, great, you know. I mean, it, maybe in the crust, I don't know. Yeah. But it was pretty dang good. Oh yeah, no, I've had Marie calendars in the past. Yeah, and it was they, pretty good. They they do make a nice pie there. In a pinch, it worked. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, it's certainly so you know, it's certainly simple. You yeah. can just pick one up and. The only thing I did was I messed up the gravy again. Yeah. I know what I did wrong though. And what 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 uh, what was wrong? I didn't with it? add the mixture gradually. The cornstarch and the water. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta let you it gotta dissolve. You gotta add it gradually. So then, when it gets to the right consistency, it stays at the right consistency. Yeah, you know? cornstarch is pretty tricky. Oh my god! So <laughs> I screwed it up again, Grim. Still haven't perfected that. I mean, it seriously, it tasted good. Good. It was edible. Yeah. 
but it was not the right consistency. Matt's like, it looks like frosting, Mom. I'm like, uh, you know, it's not it, that bad. As, as long as it's not lumpy, you know. <laughs> it wasn't lumpy. It was just gloppy. And Matt's like, that's not a word. I'm like, it is to me. <laughs> oh, good. So how's your turkey? How's your turkey? How's your turkey? Oh, that was awesome. Oh, great, 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 great. Yeah, it was awesome. So uh, turkey's the easiest part about the meal, really. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you, and you made mashed potatoes? Oh, yeah. Mashed potatoes, gravy, freaking... Uh, Yams? No. Stuffing. Oh, okay. And then I had some dinner rolls or whatever. All right. And uh, did you make any of those or... Or were those no. Like... You mean from scratch? Yeah. Hell no, dude. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, I you... made the mashed potatoes from scratch. Those were instant. Okay, okay. I peeled the potatoes and boiled them and then mashed them. Okay. The turkey, I didn't hunt that myself. No, I bought that at the store. Yeah. I mean, I don't have time for this shit, dude. <laughs> you know? I understand. When you work full time and everything, it's not like you can be miss be freaking Betty Crocker. I know you. You should have got. You should have taught uh, Zach how to how to how to bake, how to cook. Oh, he can cook. Oh, can he? Oh yeah. Oh, well, get his ass in there. Oh. He can cook for sure. <laughs> so he seems like the like he could be the chef tail. Maybe not Matt. Yeah, Matt isn't so much of a. I mean, Matt can. Make some things, but yeah. Zach's better at cooking than Matt. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. Just because Zach likes likes more of a variety of food, <laughs> Matt does not. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it turned out well, though. Great, great. So I just put a link in the chat about a 100 year old Wisconsin woman that got her first buck. Okay, deer well, hunting, deer hunting season. Do you want to talk about that now, or do you want to wait till we do some music? Yeah, I can talk about it right now. It's just a small. It's just kind of cool. All right. 104 years old. She's out there freaking hunting. Cool. For deer. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I saw. I saw. And she, and she got what kind of buck did she get there? I'm looking at the picture. A small buck. It just says a small buck. It doesn't say. Looks like a, a one, ten pointer. Or looks like looks like a one pointer. Yeah. <laughs> no, it looks like a little bit bigger than that, maybe. Uh, it's, it's just I don't a, know, but anyway, yeah, it looks like a little uh, yearling. It's like a pronghorn or something. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like yeah. A, a single pointer, one pointer. Yeah, yeah, but still, that's really cool. That good is for cool. Her. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, good for you, Florence Teeters. <laughs> I saw a story the other day. I don't have a link to it or nothing, but uh, uh -huh. apparently some guy uh, broke into this house to steal crap, and uh, uh, the woman that lived there, she was like a jujitsu master or something like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> and she kicked his ass. Oh, good. And she was like an 84-year-old woman or something oh, like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah. So good, yeah. I mean, it's not awesome that it happened, but it's awesome that she was able to defend herself and kick his ass. Oh, she's she's got a lot of, you know, publicity out of it to support, so Oh, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. So no, that's it, awesome. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. So good for you old old ladies out there doing yeah. doing stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah. I called old ladies. I, I called my brother today because he's turning forty nine today. Oh okay. And uh, but he he was he was out on the town or whatever. So as I just left him a message, rubbing it in. You got one year left, and you'll be fifty. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, I heard that for a year. Yeah. Well, it's his. It's Before his, I turned fifty. <laughs> it's his turn now. So. <laughs> right. Yeah, I heard that for a whole year. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, let's play some music, and then right, uh, do that. we'll we'll come back and talk about stuff and things. All right, stuff and things. Okay. All right, here Sounds we go. Good. Metallica. Hey, 
Well, Joan, I'll love you three times. Ah, uh, that Joan Jack there covering the doors, love me two times. Uh, before that, we had Rob Zombie and We're an American Band. And we kicked it off with Metallica and her Sandman there. Good rock and roll to get the show a rocking and rolling here, getting there, moving on. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, Moose Girl is saying she thinks that Joan, I guess she's saying Joan Jet got her persona and moves from Prince. Maybe. Um, uh, she's a punker, so, uh, I, I, I don't know about that, but, uh, she, she definitely was into the Ramones. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was, okay, Looks yeah. like she's doing trying to channel Prince and Elvis a little bit there. It's possible. It's possible. The the video there, the uh, the video for that song was not actually the video for that song. It was for the I Love Rock and Roll song, uh, but somebody used it to, to make that 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 video. Oh, that was good. Yeah, yeah, no, it worked out great. So uh, cool. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I've seen Joan Jett a few times. And, uh, oh, that, yeah? Yeah, oh, I've seen her a couple of times. Yeah, she was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I guess she's still she's doing still playing I, around. Yeah, I guess she's still doing stuff, but, you know. Um, she's getting old. Older. Yeah, she's about she's about the same age I am, I think. Oh, okay. Um, right, right, right around my age, anyway. So, uh, yeah, I always had I always had a little thing for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well. <laughs> yes, indeed. Cool. So let's see what kind of let's see what kind of great informational type stories we got lined up here for you. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. Go ahead. Oh, let's, let's start with this one since today was out. People were out there shopping and making their great deals. Um, yeah, not so much. Yeah, you remember uh, there was a time when the U.S. dollar was supposedly actually based upon. Something, uh, a, yes. val- a value of a metal. Like gold or silver. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that, that went away during the Nixon era. Um, let me see if I can get this lined up here for you in this uh, deal. Because um, <laughs> oh, I just because I found it funny, humorous. Okay. Um, take me a minute to line this up here. I think, yeah, there's that, there's that. That's that. Let me, let me slide this down. Slide that down. Oop. Oop, oop. Slide this over. Slide this over. Slide that down. Okay, perfect. And, well, almost perfect. <laughs> Zoop. 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 Come on now. Zoop. Zoop for me. Zoop for me. Okay. Uh, this first one doesn't really tell you anything. It's just a picture of an old grocery store. Yeah. Um, but let's go to the next one. Okay, here you go. A picture. Houston Chronicle file. Uh, didn't they? Didn't, I thought they told me the price here. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, here we go. Okay. okay. So, yeah, I got it. All right, that's it. It's close enough. Um, all right, so this is from uh, uh, SS Kresge ad, 1964. Wow. 250 adapkins, 23 cents. 100, wow. 100 count paper plates, 61 cents. Uh, two pounds of bacon for a dollar. <laughs> That's canned bacon. Uh, regardless, you try, try and buy that now. It'll be, you know, 15 bucks, right. 20 bucks. True. Uh, a package of Oreo cookies, 37 cents. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. V- vanilla wafers, 27 cents. Wow. Yeah, there's no inflation. Uh, here you could buy a brand new electric guitar for $25. Oh, it's not electric. Yeah, it is electric. Okay. <laughs> or a drum set. Oh, wow. Drum set for 150 Uh That was on, uh, let's see here, Parker Music Ad. doesn't give me a date, but it's around that same era. Um, this is 1982 Playhouse Toys here. Uh, you could buy, uh, I don't know what these trucks are, little toy trucks, six bucks. Uh, phone. Yeah. 
Is that a phonograph? No, I don't know what that is. You drive it's a it. You drive it game. It's I, some kind of game. Yeah, six ten bucks. Uh, light bright for ten dollars. I don't know how much those go for these days, wow. but you could be sure it's a lot, a lot more than that. Oh Do- yeah, it's a lot more. Than that. Dolls for six dollars. Snack attack. I don't know what these games are. Um, <laughs> this one, <laughs> this one, nineteen eighty two. Uh, I don't know. Do you recognize any of these? Uh, a remote control car, eight bucks. Uh, Rubik's cube for three dollars. Can you still buy Rubik's cube? Yep. Yeah. Snoopy phone, six dollars. Wow. <laughs> Sewing machine, I don't know what this. So Holy easy. Holy shit. Thirteen dollars for I don't know if it's a real or or a toy or what. That's a toy. Anyway, thirteen dollars. I'm sure it's like Probably. fifty bucks now. Uh, this is 1969, sports coats for 20 bucks, t-shirts, whatever these are, knit shirts, 6 bucks, sports coats for 285. <laughs> 1969. Wow. 1969. This is 1967, two pairs of shoes for $5. <laughs> I don't wow. know, Sandpiper by Scats there. Um, these are from 1965, uh, Two and three piece knit suits for girls, uh, five fifty. <laughs> uh, these are from nineteen oh. nineteen eighty leather coats for a hundred bucks. I don't know if that's a good price. Um, I, I don't know how much these things are these days, so I can't tell you that. Uh, now this, see, now this is this. This is the big one, big opposite change. Um, th- this is from nineteen sixty five. A, wow. col- a, a color TV uh, was four hundred and thirty dollars, and it's probably nineteen inch or something like that. Um, yeah. And now you can get like a fifty-five inch plasma for for that right, price. Right. Right. Yeah. So th- this one kind of went the other way, other direction there on that. <laughs> Remember those ones that were on wheels like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was big old console TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we had that. We had it at the house. Um, I don't know what these are, 15 cents or 25 gifts, paper gags, whatever. Either way, you're not buying anything for 15 cents or 25 cents these days. No. Party supplies. No. Uh, uh, what is this? Oh, a wig for $4. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was 1968. Um, uh, wow. here, here you go. This is one of the ones that got me. 1969. Three neckties for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like 50, fifteen bucks a pop for for the low price ones now. Uh, two dress shirts for three dollars. Um, I don't wow. know. I'm not sure what a summer suit is, but ten dollars each. Wow. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what that is. Houston Mall. These are malls in Houston throughout the years. So you can see what they used to look like. They had tennis courts in them. Skating right? Did you ever have one of those malls with the skating rink inside? No. Oh yeah, we had no. those. We had those down in San Diego. Well, we live. I lived in Minnesota, so we didn't have indoor skating rinks. Oh, well, yeah. we we had arenas, but not. That was a, that was, that was a good. That, that was a good place to get girls. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, wow. I just I just wanted to share some of these. You know, the, the craziness of the of the of the price drops. Um, of most things, uh, right? Of course, electronics excluded, uh, right? Uh, because well, they just are, um, you know. Uh, so tennis court at the mall—that makes no sense at all. Uh, well, I know some had uh, the what do you call them, racquetball, in there. Oh yeah, racquetball. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah, so, yeah whatever. It was kind of interesting seeing what what the uh, what has happened to the value of your dollar over the years. It's pretty bad. It's horrible. It's and uh, nobody actually ever you know takes time to consider that uh, that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's go back ten years. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and that's not that's not very long. It's, it's, food has gotten more expensive. Everything's gotten more expensive. Oh right, yeah. Since uh, since two thousand nine, you're talking ten years. Yep. Yeah. And um, the wages, the minimum wage has not gone up 
Not at all. Not a, not a penny. Not no. Money. And but you know, so how is that fair? How, you know, so that's just proof right there. And that not even just the minimum wage. Anybody's wage doesn't keep up with the the price rate the, the, at the rate that the prices go up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh right, no, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, I do ha- I do have I do have that story on the. Uh... Uh, the vacuum cleaner fight. <laughs> so it's proof that you're you're basically you are a fucking slave. Oh, absolutely. And and you're while you get for the shit wages to barely make, get by and make it, you know, commercialism, you know, this Black Friday shit, they're still shoving that down our throats like we have fucking money or something. Yeah. This is why Black Friday has been like a fart in church this year. Because no one has any goddamn fucking money, and a lot of people have caught on to the fact that Black Friday is a fucking scam. Absolutely. You don't, you don't really save that much more money. You, you, usually they keep the, the thing going past Black Friday. So if you wait till Saturday, you're going to get the Black Friday price. They make it seem like you have to go shopping on this day to get the absolute best price. It is a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a ploy by the the retailers because they know a lot of people have that day off of work. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a ploy from the retailers to get you in their fucking store. And that's what pe- a lot of people plan on doing on the day after Thanksgiving is go Christmas shopping. Right. You know, yeah. and that's how it all started. Yeah, um, when did – I forget. I, I heard a story about when it started. I thought it was like during it's, the – during the Reagan era. Probably. Uh, and it was over something else, not about shopping. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. It, it was, it was, Part it, of it, too, is like an economy. Well, they, they they promote Christmas shopping because it's the last month of the year. Yeah. So they want their bottom line to be better. Right. Yeah, well, it's huge for them now. So. Right. Uh, and so it's just a freaking scam. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here's that story on the uh, the fight over the vacuum cleaner here. Okay. Uh, on the AmericanMirror.com, seasons beatings. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, women in hijabs fight over vacuum oh, cleaner. Frenzy over Walmart towels. That must be where I sell the towels for $1.60. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, many stores sought to open earlier than Black Friday relieve some of the pressure on shoppers swarming for good deals. But they ha- there have been incidents at Walmarts around the country. At one Walmart, two women in hijabs, hijabs, how do you say that? Uh, hijab, hijab, I think. Whatever. Anyway, they fought over a vacuum cleaner, forcing several employees to intervene. Uh, the two women argued as store employees looked thoroughly annoyed at having to referee the situation between two adults. They were both determined to get a shark model at a deep discount. Meanwhile, at another Walmart store, shoppers were in a frenzy for a dollar sixty towels. I have a little video here if anybody cares to watch it. People busted each other's ass over some towels. Uh, mean, meanwhile, in Paris, climate change activists uh, created a Black Friday protest in a mall and got physical with shoppers who were ignoring their hysteria. The video shows a man trying to get through when an agitator in a neon vest repeatedly blocks his path, sparking a physical uh, altercation. So he tried to go up against these Black Friday shoppers with his with his uh, climate change nonsense, and they just oh trampled him, trampled him down. <laughs> See, the first story though, they don't have to say that they were wearing hijabs. No, I, I don't. know. That adds nothing why to the story. Why do they even? Put that in there. I have no idea. It adds. It adds. To get people agitated racially. It, it, it's a. It's a racial statement. It adds absolutely nothing to the story. It doesn't, and they didn't need to put that in there. It just people are like, oh, it's those Muslims again. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> oh my god. Well, here's a nice thing. You here, know, here's a nice holiday story for you. Okay. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> I can't, I can't believe this, but, but I hear it is. So I, I'm assuming it's true. Girl Scouts say, "Don't ask your daughters to hug relatives. It could send the wrong idea about consent." Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a girl. That should just be a fucking given, dude. Uh, 
the Girl Scouts of of uh, America organization issued a stern warning to parents ahead of the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. Don't ask your daughters to hug relatives, or you could be sending them the wrong idea about consent and physical affection. On Tuesday, the club sent out a tweet saying, Forced affection, not okay, with the reminder, she doesn't owe anyone a hug, not even at the holidays. The message included a link uh, to an article on the Girl Scouts website explaining further that the request could be damaging. Asking, have you ever insisted, Uncle just got here, go give him a hug, or Auntie gave you that nice toy, go give her a kiss, uh, when you were worried that your child might not offer affection on her own? The article asked, if yes, you might want to reconsider the urge to do that in the future. Uh, it goes on and talks about some weird psychologist saying that having your your kids hug your relatives is, ooh, that's bad. You shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. What I mean, your parents probably did that, right? Yeah, not excessively, though. No, it doesn't say excessively. It just says... Right, but... Don't, you know, don't don't, don't say, go, go give your, your your grandma a hug for giving it's you a true. I mean, present. I get, I, get, I get it, though. I really do get it. I so get the story. Is, is they, they think your grandma's going to grope you or something? No, I, I, not, <laughs> but some fucking weird fucking sick uncle might. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I mean, a grandmother's different, or a parent. Well, they they say the aunt too, so an aunt or an uncle, an uncle or an aunt could be kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. So, so all of you out there with pervy uncles, keep your kids away. <laughs> well, you you've heard the stories. Of, I mean, not it didn't happen to me, but you've heard stories about how one relative's kind of creepy, kind of pervy, you know. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I wouldn't be saying. Go give them a hug, you know. Oh, oh, this is a thing. This is a, a deal for you. And it doesn't cost you a cent to get in. Uh, all you got to do is uh, fill out this little form okay. with your, your name and your email. And uh, what else do they want? Uh, that's it. Your name, email, country, and state. Um, and you could win uh, this cool gaming monitor, uh, projector. Uh, they got some other stuff in there, too. Um Whatever, it, it's a it's a thing. Just go. It's ViewSonic stuff. Um, so just go over to ViewSonic and, and put, okay. f- fill it out, and 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 and, and you can win maybe nice. maybe possibly one of these prizes. Also, another thing I have another contest thing, which is really cool. Let me see if I can find that. Um, it's uh, for um, um, where is she? Where is she? I know I put her in here. Uh, do 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 do. Where are you, Sammy? Um, all right, I don't, I don't, I don't have the link right here, but I'll put it into the blog tomorrow. Uh, Samantha Fish, you can, you can win a, you can win one of her oh. cigar box guitars. Oh, nice! Yeah, signed. Um, wow! And she's got some other st- other cool stuff you can win, and um, I'll, I'll find the link tomorrow, and uh, and I'll and, and I'll let you. I'll put it into the blog, and I'll put post it there in the chat. Although I've already posted it in the chat a couple times this week, because um, if you use my link to, to sign up, then I get more free entries or some kind of shit. Oh, okay. Not that I win anything, because there's probably like millions of people <laughs> right. yeah. doing it. But well, you know, you win a win a free Samantha Fish uh, guitar. So, um, so cool. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, nice. I, I, I could have sworn I had to, I had to save the link, but. Um, I don't, I'm not seeing it in my deal here. Uh, okay, okay, well. I mean, you cannot... You, you, you can't make it, dude. You can't make it. It's like they're always throwing something else at you that costs money. You know? Yeah. And it's you can't keep up with it. Like, I am seriously... Paycheck to paycheck, if that. And if something major were to happen, I wouldn't be able to freaking pay for it. Right, yeah. And I wouldn't be able to get 
it done. Sure. Yeah. No, I, I, I wouldn't be able to get whatever it is done. Right. I, I understand. I mean, I need fucking tires, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to fucking get that. And, you know, that's not happening. Right. It's not happening. Exactly. It's just not happening. And I need those. Those are like a very important thing to have when you live in Wisconsin in the yeah. winter time. It just sucks, you know. It just sucks. Yeah. You just can't. I know I'm not alone. I'm not trying to make, you know, have people feel bad for me or something. Because I know I'm not alone. Everyone's out. Most people I know are struggling financially. I mean. Sure. Even if they have, you know, decent jobs. A decent paying job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's just. You know, it was better when the when the money was backed by gold and silver. Right. Absolutely. I mean, nobody even nobody even considers uh, that. Right. You know, the, all the whole thing. So. Um, I know they don't think about it. They bitch about it. Yeah. Like they'll make the they'll make the comparison. They'll be like, "Oh, I remember back in the day, you could buy a house for this, and you could buy a car for this, and blah 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 blah." But they don't. They, they only bitch about that. That they don't. They don't freaking go any further than that with the discussion. You know, they just bitch about it. They don't say, "Well, they, they don't go further and say, well, why is it that way?" Blah blah blah, and people don't discuss it. So. Because <laughs> people don't know. Rome's has uh, put up a link here about some kind of hooded blankets, North seamed hooded blankets. Rome's, do you have one of those blankets that you, your head sticks out there and you got like arms in it? Those are cool. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call those? <laughs> Keep? No, no, no. It's, 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 Poncho. No, no, no. It's, it's a blanket thing that you sit on the couch in your, in your little. Snuggle. Snuggy. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, I saw something similar to that at Walmart, and it was like, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> like a giant sweatshirt thing or something. Yeah, like, yeah, it was just a stupid, you know, it was like. Yeah, you it, can't move in it. Well, I don't, it had arms, it had arm holes, arm, arm sleeves, and a thing for your head. Right, and then, and then the rest was but like a big, your legs, though. like a big fleece blanket or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, your legs just stick out the bottom, you know. But those Norse blankets are fucking <laughs> kick ass, dude. Those are cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like them. I need one of them. Yeah. No, not a parka. A I don't know which one I'd S want. S snuggie. They're though. all snuggie. really fucking cool. <laughs> All right, let's, play, let's hear some more music here. All uh, right, let's do that. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Yes, enjoy. indeed. Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy a little George. Oh, and his brother... Oh, I should have let you. I should should have let it play out there. That's all right. <laughs> the guy, the roof guy, jumped into the pool. Uh, anyway, that's the main squeeze covering Voodoo Child. Before that, Leo Moracioli to admit it works down under. Do you hear the thunder? And we kicked it off there with George Thorogood. Uh, and who do you love? The Doors tune. Uh, he, and he said, "My brother, my brother," but the brother was actually John Hammond. Uh, <laughs> Which I guess it's a it's a brother, a brother in the blues, uh, as it were. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so my point is, is they were standing. The keyboardist was in the water. There. Yeah, yeah, they're a crazy band. They're a crazy band. With the band. keyboard across the thing, if that would have fallen in there, that dude would have been dead. <laughs> Probably. If the guitar player would have fallen in the water, he would have been dead. Well, he jumped off the roof at the end, so. No, the other guy, the bass, maybe it was the bass player. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> the bass player would have been dead. <laughs> they're they're crazy. They're a good band. Uh, and all of a sudden, the guy's up on the roof playing. Yeah, he's, he's like, okay. rocking on the roof, man. 
Rocking on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But they they are a kick ass band. They they play a lot of really good stuff. Oh, they are. Yeah. yeah so. Uh, oh, you, oh, what's the album? I'm sorry. The main squeeze. Oh yeah, I've never heard of them before. <laughs> well, we've played them. We we we've played them. We've played them here before. Okay. Okay. Uh, other songs they do they do all you know they do, uh, Pink Floyd and and they do. Oh, okay. Uh, Zeppelin and they they do all kinds of stuff, um, but yeah they're they're really good, uh, so uh, okay yeah 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 you know, um. <laughs> oh man so yeah it's cool they're cool yeah they're crazy they are crazy I mean <laughs> if that keyboard would have fallen in that water right. Would have been dead. It, uh, it, it, it shocking himself. <laughs> <laughs> probably. It, probably. Unless so. they were just filming that part of it and not the stuff wasn't really plugged in. Well, it looked like they, it was looked like it was a live jam. It, it did, but maybe it wasn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hard to say. So, I'm going to go on to say, because it's kind of bothering me. It pisses me off. What's that? This motherfucking Prince Andrew bitch. Oh, wait, wait, before you get to that, I, I just, uh, okay. just, a little, just a little quickie here. I told you about, uh, you, you could you could win a cigar box uh, guitar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or, or, and signed vinyl from Samantha Fish. Uh, so here's here's the link for that. Oop, we're going to get to the right channel okay. here. Uh, so go over there, sign up, and... Uh, Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the right one? Let me make sure I got the right link here. Copy link. Okay. Yeah, so, that's the right one. Uh, I, I, well, if it's that that one there. Oh, okay. Let me, let me, put, the, let me put the thing in there. I'm not sure, because I'm not sure that first one is. Um. Okay, that link there. Use that link there. Go over there and sign up. <laughs> that didn't. It didn't work. That 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 second link. Yeah. Oh, well, that's, it says that's the link. No, it says connection's not secure. Blah blah blah. Oh, uh, okay. Well, maybe the first link. I, I don't know. Okay. Either way. Um, All right. You, you can you can win. You can you can see the picture of the, the guitar there that you could win. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Nice. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so I'm just going to go on to say that this Prince Andrew thing, uh -huh. the interview that he did, he's obviously lying based on his fucking body language. Okay? Yeah. And his answers were pathetic, and his body language gave him away that he was lying during that TV interview that, that he did. Of course he was. Right. And plus they... He's stepped down now or whatever. Yeah, I mean, what, what's he going to do? Is he going to come out and say... No, he's not. <laughs> he wouldn't. He'd be in prison. He'd be... He'd be... Dodging the FBI, dude. Right, right. I mean, it's just, to me... The reason I'm talking about it is if this was any other fucking person... Yeah. They'd be going to prison. Okay? Oh, sure, sure, sure. At least going to trial. Yeah, yeah. They'd be at least arrested. Absolutely. Well, you know, and, all, you know, all of them. Because it's the fucking Prince Andrew. Oh, oh, nothing happens to him. Oh, well, right. He's but lost, I mean, he lost all... his his standing or whatever, or his duties, his royal duties or whatever the fuck they call it. Uh, all all of those scumbags, you know, up there, they'd all they'd all be in jail. You know, like pe people like Hillary, and, right, and uh, Obama and Holder and. Uh, it, it, you know, you just think, think of the stuff that Holder did, Eric Holder. Yeah. Uh, uh, just absolute, just trafficking guns and drugs across the border. Right. And nothing happens to him. Nothing happens to right. him at all. And uh, he just walks away scot free, and, and he's and he's still you know like a, in in power, in a, in a way not directly as he was, but yeah, um, but ab absolute criminal, and. Uh, uh, I mean, just the stuff Hillary she's gotten away with, uh, not 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 even mentioning the murders, but all of the other right. things she's done. 
It's, These people are freaking evil. Dude. So, yeah, yeah. And, They're and, beyond uh, evil. They're not even evil. Is like a mild term for them. These people are fucking <laughs> psychopaths. They're, they're beyond evil. Like, they're... They're fucking nuts, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean... <sighs> hey, Sark, what are you doing up at this time of night? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they are. So, uh, right, Andrew, Prince Andrew. I always forget which one it is because there's a whole bunch of Yeah, them. it's the younger one. He's 60. He's the younger one. <laughs> and he's, see, the thing that, there's no way he's going to come out and say it and be truthful at all, just like that none of them do. Right. It's because his daughters weren't much younger than that girl at the time. Which, that really makes him really fucking creepy, dude. Oh. That makes the guy a total fucking pedophile fucking creep. Sure. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah. If you have your own daughters and you're able to screw an underage girl, something's fucked up with you, dude. Yeah. You're fucked up. That's what that means. You're a fucking sick fuck. That's yeah, they, they, they are they are messed up. There ain't no doubt yeah, about it. Yeah, and I'm sorry, but that looks really bad on you. If she was 17 and your daughter was 13, that's fucked up, dude. Yeah, yeah. See, these rich fucks. They think that they can just do whatever they want and they'll get away with it. You know, well, Prince Andrew must have pissed somebody off. Well, no, Epstein did. But then Andrew, this picture surfaced of Prince Andrew, these pictures. So he couldn't, he was tied to this guy, this Epstein. He couldn't back his, backpedal his way out of it. Right. Trump has, Trump's ridden on that fucking plane. So did Bill Clinton. You know? Sure. I mean, and other people in perceived power, which they do have power. I mean, they do. When you're the president of the United States, you got fucking power. You know, well, you're the puppet, but... Oh, well, yeah. Of course. But he wasn't the president back then when he rode on that plane, but... That we know of. So? <laughs> right. I mean, it doesn't make him, it makes him a piece of shit. Sick fuck. As far really? as I'm concerned. These, these, they all are. They're all fucking fucked up in the head, dude. They are. They're, it, it's just like, really? These are the people that are supposedly in charge. Right. It's like, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, people should be more pissed off. I'm sorry. People should be fucking pissed off. More than they are. Sure. Because this is ridiculous. They don't care as long as they can keep their iPhones. But they on, can't. They're they're not making it. What? They're not making it. People are not making it financially. People are still using credit cards up the, the up the fucking ass. I'm sorry, that's not the answer. It is not. It's not the answer just to run up credit card debt. And, and, that's, and I, not, that's, li- that's not the way to do it. And, and I have a story to cover about that, but uh, I have another story to get to first. Okay. <laughs> because the first one uh, makes me laugh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Flash is up, too. What are these guys doing up in the middle of the night? All right. Um, it's the morning there. Is it? It's early morning there. Okay. All right. Well, really early morning, like 4 o'clock yeah, or something. Yeah, really early morning. Okay. <laughs> so here it is from uh, WREG.com. Okay. Oklahoma officer given a Starbucks order with the word pig written on the label. <laughs> so apparently some, uh, and this happened yesterday, I do believe. Uh, a, a police chief in Oklahoma said one of his officers picked up a coffee order from the local Starbucks, Starbucks on, on Thanksgiving with the word pig written on the label. The Kiefer police officer went to the Starbucks to get coffee for dispatchers who were working on Thanksgiving uh, with him when he encountered 
the label. Chief Johnny O'Mara said Thursday in a Facebook post, Starbucks has apologized to the officer and suspended a barista pending an investigation. Uh, O'Mara picture, uh, posted a picture of the cup with the word pig uh, label on Facebook. He goes on here and he says, What irks me is the absolute and total disrespect for a police officer who, instead of being home with his family enjoying a meal in a football game, is patrolling his little town. He's always out there harassing people on Thanksgiving. Go the fuck home. Go the fuck home, you bastard. Leave people alone. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> Kiefer, has <a> pop <laughs> Kiefer has a population of fewer than 1,700 people, according to the census figures. It's uh, southwest of Tulsa. Omara wrote, the, big, uh, uh, the cup of coffee for a pig is just a little flag. Uh, another little flag. It's another tiny <laughs> sim. It's another tiny symptom of and a nearly indiscernible shout from a contemptuous, roaring, and riotous segment of the misanthropic society that vilifies those with this who stand for what's right, and <laughs> wow. as if the cops pig the pig stand for what's right, and wow. gl and glorifies the very. Uh, the, the very people who would usher in the destruction of social fabric. So uh, unless you're out there licking the jackboot, then you are ushering in the destruction of social fabric. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> the officer went to Starbucks uh, to pick up five drinks. Uh, Omara told KTULL, KTUL, a customer pointed out the label, pointed out the label to the officer. The station said the words... Word was printed on all the cups. So all all the five cups had the word "pig" written on them, or printed on them actually from the from the uh, computer thing. Um, <laughs> Omara wrote uh, wrote he called the store and was told they'd be happy to replace the coffee with the correct label. <laughs> Come on back, pigs. We'll give you a label that doesn't say pig on it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's really gut wrenching, especially knowing that these cups. Oh my God! These, these cups were going to dispatchers. These oh, people who are crap. waiting, waiting for nine one one calls to come in. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! Starbucks said we are deeply sorry to law enforcement who experienced this. Uh, the, the pigs who experience this. We have also apologized directly to this pig, and we are working to connect to the pig chief as well as to express our remorse. Oh, my God. Th this language is offensive to all people that are pigs and is not representative of the deep appreciation we have for pigs who work tirelessly to keep our communities uh, in fear. Oh, uh, safe, I mean. <laughs> All right, well, I, <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, was it, yesterday, I think. Oh, God. Anyway, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I thought yeah. I might have been muted. Anyway, this. 6.30. Oh, it's 6.30 over there. Okay. This is from Chicago. Um, the mayor was on the national news station talking about it. Um, the mayor of Chicago. Okay. So apparently what went down is a man was hospitalized after being slammed to the ground by Chicago police officer Thursday when he led. Oh, so it was today that I saw that they were on the news. The all right. Station. All right. Okay. He allegedly spit on a cop while being detained for drinking alcohol in public. A 41-second cell phone video captured the incident and was posted to social media. Police say two officers approached a 29-year-old man who was drinking alcohol at a bus stop in the Chatham neighborhood. Okay. The officer said the man became irate and threatened them. After the man licked an officer's face and spit in his eye and mouth, the officer <laughs> first takedown. Licked his to face. Him. But don't you get, like, some kind of disease from looking poisonous crap like that? I don't know. Yeah. Why would you do that? I don't believe that. Lick it it might be it. true. I don't know. Well, he was, he was, how, uh, how, how drunk was the guy? Does it say how drunk the guy was? It doesn't say. Well, I'm, I, I don't know. Uh, they performed an emergency takedown. 
The man has been identified by his mother as Bernard Kirsch. Keisha Johnson said, said she fell to her knees after watching the video of her son. I was nervous. I was scared. My heart, heart dropped. I knew I automatically, I, I know I automatically thought the worst. He wasn't moving. She said he was on the way home, back to their home at, at the time after picking up some alcoholic beverages for the th- family's Thanksgiving gathering. We were waiting to eat Thanksgiving dinner for him because he always blesses the table. She was on her phone with her on the phone with her son when the encounter happened. The call ended. Uh, he was ta- oh he's not dead. They didn't kill the guy, but um, he well, was taken to the hospital in stable condition. He's out of the hospital but remains in police custody. Yeah, there are charges pending at this time. Uh, the officer involved relieved, be relieved of police powers pending the review. Well, that's just a break. That's a vacation. Yeah, free me. vacation, paid vacation. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, that's normal, typical. Anyway, yeah. Uh, apparently, he's schizo and blind in one eye. All right. So, but still. Schizophrenic, blind in one eye, drunk. Yeah. Not a good thing. Wait, you shouldn't be walking around Chicago in that condition. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Really, you shouldn't. God. Chicago's like a friggin' war zone, though. It I'm is. Telling you what, it I is. mean, just you just click on the the local news, any local news station in Chicago, it's yeah. freaking awful. One killed, nine wounded, wounded in Thanksgiving shootings. Baby shark toy stops bullet, likely saves sleeping toddler's life. London police fail to shoot suspect in attack that killed two. Uh, that's just the first, like, four stories on there. Jeez. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. It is crazy. Woman, ki- woman kidnapped in Inglewood and sexually assaulted for six days. Man wow. accused of killing a man... After Ford Heights home invasion, little girl fourteen shot during exchange in Little Village. Police say. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, messed up, man. It's messed up. It, 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 it's it's all fucked up, dude. Then it, then there's a story on the front page that says police crack down on misuse of handicapped accessible parking across Illinois. Okay, like that's your biggest concern? Oh, well, it's easy. Yeah, so. Well, yeah, it's easier Yeah. to be worried about the simple little things that, you know, really? Sure. It's like, come on. Yeah. Jesus. Well, anyway, that's just... <sighs> yep, yep, yep. All right, so here's the story about the, uh, what you were talking about earlier, about the prices and all that stuff. Uh huh. Okay, this is on Activist Post here. Uh, five, five more signs that the global economy is heading towards a recession. So, uh. Okay. This is Michael Snyder, who's uh, on a, from another site. Anyway, uh, the, the global economy is already in the worst distress that we have seen since 2008. And it appears the global slowdown is actually picking up pace as we head into 2020. And this is happening even though central banks around the world have been cutting interest rates and pumping massive amounts of money into the respective financial systems. The central bankers appear to be losing control, and it certainly would not take much of a push for this new crisis to evolve into a complete and utter nightmare. Bring it on, babies, bring it on! Uh, <laughs> I've been hearing that for how long? Anyway, the U.S. Yeah, no <laughs> the U.S. economy has not been hit quite as hard as economies in Asia and Europe have, uh, but without without a doubt, things are slowing down here too. Corporate earnings have been falling. Aw, 
quarter after quarter. Oh, darn it. Uh, auto loan delinquencies, which are mostly uh, subprime loans at this point, um, which was, hey, you remember subprime? Uh, anyway, just hit a record high. Uh, the cash freight index has declined for 11 consecutive months. And we just, that that's, means how much stuff is being shipped back and forth. And okay. we, we just witnessed the largest drop for U.S. industrial production since 2009. Everywhere around us, there is bad economic news. But most Americans are still completely oblivious to what is happening. Yes, they're too busy, whatever. So in this article, he is going to share even more evidence about a global economic slowdown that has already begun. When you add these numbers to all of the other numbers that he's been sharing in recent weeks, it becomes impossible to deny that something major is taking place. Number one, it is being projected that the global auto sales will be down approximately 4% this year. According to CNN, a name you can trust, this will be <laughs> the second consecutive year that the global auto sales have fallen. Uh, number two, the global trade just keeps falling. According to Zero Hedge, that, that is a name you can trust. Total, yep. glo total global trade has now declined on a year-over-year -year basis uh, for four months in a row now. Uh, as you can see from the... Those first two examples, we keep witness, witnessing things happen that we haven't seen since the last financial crisis. Over the past few months, uh, he has used phrases such as since 2008 and since 2009 over and over again. We literally have not seen economic, economic numbers this bad since the last recession, and we are still in the very early phase of a new downturn. And in some cases, the numbers are actually even worse than anything we saw during the last recession. Wow. Uh, Chinese industrial profits just fell by the largest percentage ever recorded, which that's huge. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the trade war has hit Chinese economy really hard, thanks, Trump. Uh, but it doesn't look like the trade deal will happen anytime soon. No, it won't. Uh, no. be because Trump is stirring up new shit over there uh, in China uh, with that whole Hong Kong deal, which I don't know if you've heard anything about that or not, but the Chinese are freaking pissed over uh, the Trump signing the deal, backing the protesters in Hong Kong, and the Chinese are saying, if you do this, there will be consequences and you will pay, and he goes ahead and signs it anyway. Um Aww. Uh, number four, a U.S. Con U.S. consumer confidence has now fallen for four months in a row, and that could I have that. that could have something to do with the uh, Black Friday numbers being way down. Yeah, uh, big time. This wasn't supposed to happen, <laughs> and, yeah. if, and if it keeps happening, it's going to have an important implications for the 2020 election. Like, who cares about that? Uh, number five, even the wealthy are cutting back on their spending. I feel so bad for them. Oh, those poor people. According to Yahoo Finance, this is a continuation of a trend that we have been seeing for the past three quarters. Spending by the top 10% fell 1%, really, in the second quarter from the same period last year, according to analysis of the Federal Reserve data by Moody's. And a four-quarter average of outlays by the high earners has slipped on an annual basis of the past three quarters, marking the first such decline since the Great Recession of 2007 through 2009. There's more. There's a lot more in the article, should you should care to peruse it on your own. Um, but where is this recession? Bring it on, motherfuckers! <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I want it. I want to see it. I want to see a total collapse. But every, yeah. But, but, and, and what you haven't been hearing is there's been um, lots of silent bailouts going on to the banks. Oh, okay. And the banks don't even need them. The banks are flush with cash. Yeah, right. But, but, but the Federal Reserve, uh, in their infinite wisdom, is, is flooding more, more fresh cash into them. And when they do that, your dollar is worth less. Every time the Federal Reserve... It's in the negative now, isn't uh, it? No. 
not quite. Oh, it's, it's it's close, but not quite. Hey, but every time the the Federal Reserve uh, floods the banks with all kinds of cheap yeah. or free money, uh, the the value of the dollar that's sitting in your wallet is now not worth a dollar anymore. Right. Or whatever the dollar, whatever it's never it's been worth a dollar for a long time. But whatever your dollar is worth today, let's say you could buy uh, a loaf of bread for three dollars, and they flood the banks with a bunch of money. Now you yeah. now you got to pay three fifty for that loaf of bread. Yeah, and then they keep flooding that money in, and then you're you're paying four dollars for that loaf of bread. Uh, it, 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 oh my god! It, it, it goes on and on and on like this. Yeah. Uh, so every time, and they're they've been doing this for 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 quite uh, an amount of time now, and and the banks are just loving it. They they right. don't care. And, and it's and, all interconnected, Grim, because well, well, the, the the Federal Reserve thinks that by flooding the banks, and they only flood what are the top banks. Not not your mm-hmm. not your credit unions or the lower the lower banks, just the biggest banks. They flood them with this money, and they think when they do that, that the banks will loan out more money to people like you and I, so that will spur the economy. But right. The, but the banks aren't loaning out more money. No, they're, they're not. They're sitting on it. They're just, just yep, ha- they are. hanging on to that free cash. Yep. <laughs> and so, so the Federal Reserve is devaluing the dollar, thinking they're going to do something, and that something is just not happening. So, uh, hooray! Wow. Hooray! <laughs> it's called fantasy economics. <laughs> yes, it is. I oh, mean, oh man, it's crazy it's stuff. All interconnected because everyone complains about the health issues in this country. You know, people have, are obese. Yeah. Well, if you want people to eat good and eat right and eat healthy, you need to pay them enough money, or they need to have enough money to be able to buy the better food. But will uh, they? I'm well, sorry, but wait, 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 the better wait. food costs more money. But but will they buy the better food if they had more money? I don't know. I mean, Probably they're having... Because it's a mindset thing. Right, but their my, habits have... My they're... point is, it's a fucking, like, uh, two-edged sword there. Their habits have been McDonald's and right. whatever, Kentucky Fried yeah, Chicken. Yeah, if they more money, they're just going to go get more processed food. At a or, or they're just going to buy more useless shit. You know, useless right. shit they don't they're need. Not, not focus it on their health and all of a sudden start buying organic or start yeah. eating, you know, yeah. whatever. I mean, if you really want to buy healthy food, you can do it for, just quit, quit eating out. <laughs> quit eating out, number one. That's your first big yes. thing. Quit yeah. going to these fucking well, restaurants. Quit eating fast food. Well, fast food and, and, and even I mean just just that's not a treat. That's that's horrible. Right. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> Buy real food. Make it at home. You'll you'll not only save a ton of money, but but you'll be eating better stuff. Um, and you won't the be getting. The problem is, is the people buy the crappy food still. Yeah, and you won't, and you won't. There's be... so much shit food at the grocery store. Most right. of it's all processed. Food. Right. Well, here's 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 the way here's the way to do it. When you go to the grocery store, shop around the edges of the store. Don't go yeah. up and down the aisles where all the boxed and canned and processed and pre-made shit is that you can throw in the microwave or. Or you know, have instantly. No, I just don't buy that shit. Walk around I the edges down because the aisles and not buy that shit. I, uh, I, I can control myself. On the, on the edges, you got the produce, you got the meat, you got the dairy, right? And all the other stuffs up and down the aisles in, in the middle of the store. <laughs> so so stay out of those aisles. Uh, that's that's number one. Um, uh, well, I don't stay out of them because well, I do need some stuff. I need the canned meat. I, I need I'm, to go down that aisle. Canned meat. Yeah. What well, canned like meat? Like canned tuna. Oh. I don't make my own tuna from fresh tuna. <laughs> well, no, no, you don't. Okay. I mean, there's certain things you, you just can't do, Graham, if you want certain no, things. No, I, I understand. I'm you just gotta saying. you got to buy certain things in the can or whatever. I, I, I'm just you saying. you got to go down the baking aisle if you need flour and oil and shit. Well, sure. I, I'm just saying, for the most part, you, you want to avoid that, that ready-to-eat box Ready to eat processed stuff. stuff. That's part of the problem. It's not just the fast food places. It's the fact that there's all this processed food in the that's microwavable and crap like that. Right. That's part of it too. Yeah. You know, anyway, it's, the, it's, a, it's a behavior that you have to. The bulk of what goes into your cart should should be from around the edges. 
Well, there's been so many times where, like, I used to buy ramen noodles for my kids. Yeah. I don't. I I stopped buying them like three years ago. Well, that, they're the worst freaking thing. The you the can ones. Buy. I mean, seriously, they're fucking terrible. The the ones that you bought three years ago will be good for another twenty years. No, I, they're gone now. <laughs> oh, okay. They ate them all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm saying I don't buy them anymore. All right, all right. Because <laughs> if I did, they'd eat them and they're shit. Yeah. They're just, you know unless you're making your own fresh ramen noodles or whatever. Yeah. But the ones that are in the the little packets. Yeah. Those are shit. They're right. not good for you at all. And they're no. not even a real meal. Oh, of course not. You know, and it's just it's like I you gotta not buy certain things. Just don't buy it. Right. That's that's the what you do. Yeah, I never buy instant potatoes. Ever. Okay. I would never buy instant potatoes. All right. I, I've, I've had them here I've, a couple times. I bought them just in case I needed them if I ran out of regular potatoes or something. No, they just went bad. Oh. Uh, I just buy regular potatoes. I don't buy instant. Instant potatoes suck. They're nasty. I hate the taste of them. It's like it's so much easier just to peel your own potatoes and boil them. Sure. I mean, yeah, you're saving some time by doing instant maybe, but... They're nasty. Right. Okay? Although there are some uh, there are some recipes that call for instant potato flakes. Right. Uh, yeah. True. But which you can't really use regular potatoes for. No. You uh, can't, no. But 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 that's that's the rarity, and you know, uh, I, I don't know how long a box of potatoes potato flakes last, but They're about a, a year. Yeah. So anyway. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's just like I'm people, just I'm just saying in general that's the best the best the best method. Uh, right is to to minimize, uh, not totally avoid uh, the aisles, but minimize your your time up and down the yeah. aisles. The yeah. other part of the problem is lacks of daisy daisy jobs. And what do you sitting mean? at a desk, well, is it, actually sitting at a desk, having a desk job actually takes years off of your life. Probably. It does. Yeah. It's been proven. And it's not a good. It's not a good way to spend eight hours a day. Yeah. It's very. It, it's just not beneficial. Even sitting down the whole day is not good for you. Right. Well. You should be standing up some part of the day, every day, and sure. moving around some part of the day every day. At, le- at least walk around on your breaks. Or something, yes, <laughs> do something, because otherwise you're just going to be, get fat. You're going to get fat and unhealthy. Yeah. I've seen women that have worked in the same place for 25, 25 years. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. Some of them have really bad health. They get the, they get the office spread. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you got to work, but sometimes, you know... It's great having computers, but for instance, today, 600 people lost power in Eau Claire, and okay. my work got affected. Power wow. went out. So we left to have power early because there was nothing for us to do because our com- we couldn't get on our computers. Right, right. So if you're not, if you don't have your, your power, <laughs> you're fucked. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Computers are great and stuff, and they make a lot of things easier, but if the shit goes down, you're screwed without sure. your computer. Absolutely. We had no lights either, so I mean, obviously, we yeah. couldn't really see very good either. Right, right. I mean, luckily, it wasn't dark out yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what oh the hell? God. That was weird. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that happens, but it does. whatever. It does. Okay, let's play some more music here. All right. Do that. And we will come back on the other side. All right. Enjoy it. Enjoy. Yeehaw, brothers. <laughs> Billy Strings, man. Billy Strings. Everything's the same there. Uh, that's some that's fancy picking stuff, let me tell you. Uh, before that, we had the Rolling Stones and Bob Dylan. Doing Dylan's uh, like a Rolling Stone down there in Buenos Aires. Yep, off of the uh, Blu-ray album. Blah, 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 blah. What's the name of that album? 
ba 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 ba. I don't know what the name of that album is. Uh, anyway, uh, Bob Dylan and the Rolling Stones in Buenos Aires. Just look it up. I'm sure you'll find it. And we kicked it off with Marcus King doing The Well. Sweet. Yep, 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 yep. Good stuff, man. Rock and roll and blues and bluegrass and... <laughs> Very good stuff. Oh, yeah. All kinds of fun. All kinds of fun, let me tell you. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. I know. So, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with you saying there, but I I checked I it out. Either. Well, of course, that's on my on my Linux machine. That's where I, what's, that's where I monitor the feed uh, to make sure everything's running fine. And uh, and I'm running Brave over there on that. So, um, Okay. Uh, and it works perfectly. Um, I know a lot of people have said, huh. yeah, it cuts out on this, that, yeah. but uh, <laughs> the sound should be good. Um, hmm. it, it should be. I mean, it is on. It's got to be my machine room. Well, that yeah, maybe. You know, it's it, got to be a site. Uh, well, we, we, window, Windows Ten, you know. Um, I know. So. Huh. Yes. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> I don't know. It's just me. I don't know. Green grass, yeah. Blue grass, green grass. All co- all, co- all colors of grass. I like green grass too. <laughs> you bet. You bet. That's you. like the best kind, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's a little purple in there? Mix a little purple in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah a little yeah. white. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah. Ooh, oh my god, the the Black Friday thing. I'm glad it was like not. Not that good this year. Oh sure, but, yeah, it's, it's good when they, it's good when they fail. Yeah, it is. <laughs> like fuck you. I, I like to I like to see them fail. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what happens when you don't want people. You know, they inflate the economy, they inflate the prices and shit, but the wages don't go up. Right. The wages go up by what a quarter or fifty cents or a dollar. It's not enough to keep up with it after ten fucking years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you? What do they? Ex- I know what they expect. They they want to fucking prolong the agony. Agony. It's like frogs in a goddamn boiling pot of water. For Christ's sake, they just keep turning up the fucking heat a little bit more and more, little bit, little by little. Yeah. Oh yeah. Until you're fucking dead because you're boiled to death. Well, here's a here's a little bit here's a little bit of heat that's being turned up right now. Okay. And, and apparently it's just in one place, but expect it to to spread out to lots of places. Mm-hmm. Posted on the New York Post here. Robotic dog joins the ranks of Massachusetts State Police. So uh, according to this here. The Massachusetts State Police became the first law enforcement agency in the U.S. to bring a robotic dog into its ranks. Uh, the department's bomb squad has named the pooch Spot, a uh, loan from the uh, Boston Dynamics for a three-month period beginning in August and ending this month. According to records obtained by the ACLU, uh, the documents did not specify exactly how authorities put Spot to use, but police spokesman told the outlet the robotic canine saved as a mobile remote observation device, meaning it's spying on you, uh, to provide troopers with images of suspicious devices and the hiding spots of armed suspects. How do they know they're armed? Anyway, robotic technology is a valuable tool for law enforcement because it it's the, uh, of its ability to provide situational awareness potentially danger in potentially in dangerous environments. Uh, Spot was used on two separate incidents, as well as for testing, according to the report. Now, it doesn't say that these things are armed, but if they're not yet, they soon will be, and they will soon be everywhere. Um, and, they, and it'll, it'll be like robo, RoboCop dogs, you know? Um, uh, but the guy from Boston Dynamics told the station he'd like to see law enforcement use spot at dangerous scenes such as chemical spills, near a suspected bomb, or in hostage situations. 
Uh, right now, our primary interest is sending the robot into situations where you want to collect information in an environment, spy, uh, where it is too dangerous to send a person, but not actually physically interacting with the space. With the space. In your, in your head, you'd be there. Um, <laughs> Boston Dynamics emphasizes that it does not want Spot weaponized, but you can bet the pigs do. Um, part of our early evaluation process with customers making sure that we're on the same page for the use of the robot. So up front, we're very clear with our customers that we do not want the robot being used in any way that can physically harm somebody. Yet. Put the, add the word yet on there. Um, but many are still raising questions about the use of the dog. Uh, we really don't, just don't know enough about how the state police are using this, uh, said Cade Crockford, director of the technology program in ACLU, Massachusetts, and the technology that can be used in concert with robotic systems like this is almost limitless in terms of what kinds of surveillance and potentially even weaponization operations may be allowed. So they want these dogs out there hunting people down, is what this comes down to. So uh, expect to see these robot dogs fully armed and, and patrolling the streets of your town. Uh, because, well, that's just how they work. That's how it works, you know. Um, <laughs> Robo dog cops, robo cop dogs, however you want to look at Great. it. Great. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to decipher. I don't know, I'm really sure know why. What, what is this article? What is this? Walmart. Is, okay, I'm just gonna say Walmart is a fucking giant, dude. Okay. Oh. They're yeah. a motherfucking giant. Yeah. Walmart's a goddamn giant. They're not just a big corporation. They're a goddamn fucking well, giant. They, they are the largest. I know that they are. They they are the largest retailer, are they not? I used I used to work for a company that carried goods for Walmart. They're huge. They're a giant. Which, I'm not trying to defend Walmart. Trust me, I'm not trying to defend them. I'm just saying they're goddamn, they're a goddamn giant. Right. And they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Any, if the economy were to do a complete collapse, every corporation would be fucking shut down. Yeah, yeah. Because they... It's all based on the economy that we have. They wouldn't, maybe they wouldn't maybe shut down immediately, but it would be, they would have to. Everyone, everything would come to a standstill, basically. Yeah. I mean, okay, now, now, right now. Grim, I yeah, mean, yeah, I, now. I, can, I can picture Hello? it with like panicking and rioting. Yeah. Right, okay, now um, let me point out here. Uh, Flash says, and, and I think probably with a sarcastic tone, but as you say, it's not always possible to tell the sarcasm. Um, right. So Flash says, it's a good thing Trump is keeping retail prices down for the buying public. He's not doing that. that no, that's no, he's not. Of, Every, that's a bunch of sarcasm. It better be sarcasm, otherwise it's an idiotic statement. No, but <laughs> every, every trip to the store... <laughs> Everything costs more, so... And Trump's uh, not the one... He's not the one in charge. No, no, he, no, but he's e either way... He's the puppet that they put in front to be the perceived person in charge. <laughs> either way, either way. Um, it's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 not, it's not the case. Uh, the, the prices are up on pretty much everything. Um, the prices are up on everything. Well, not everything, everything. but pretty, mu pretty much everything. Yeah, uh, everything. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, food here, uh, is the worst. Food is one of the worst ones. I absolutely, think. absolutely. Yep. A little bit of good news. Okay. Although it doesn't pertain to the United States. <laughs> oh, great. Well, yeah, of from, course not. From phys physicsastronomy.org. This is actually an older article last April, uh, and I could have saved it for leftovers, but here it is. France becomes the first country to ban all five pesticides linked to bee deaths. So France has now set the benchmark in the global effort to save the bees and prevent an ecological Armageddon. The country banned all five of the neo I can say it, never say this word neonicotinoid pesticides uh, that researchers are blaming for the collapsing bee populations. 
Uh, mm-hmm. the, the move follows the European Union's ban of the three worst offenders, three names I can't pronounce, in the crop field starting last month. France has banned these three along with a couple other ones, uh, not only outdoors but in greenhouses too. Studies have shown that these neon uh cut bees' sperm count. And when I read that, I, I kind of asked myself the question, who's got the job of jacking off a bee to, to, to check their sperm count? Anyway, so I would not know how to determine that. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so so these 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 poisons uh, cut the bee's sperm count and scramble their memory and homing skills. The latest research suggests that bees can develop a dangerous addiction to the insecticides, much like smokers for nicotine. The oh, ban the ban is celebrated by beekeepers and environmentalists, but cereal and sugar beet farmers warn it could leave them defenseless in protecting their crops against harmful insects. Yeah, but you'll have bees to pollinate your, your crops. Which, yeah. With, without them, you're screwed. Yeah. Uh, anyway. There in, are natural ways to deal with uh, bad, bad bugs. Right. Uh, Other than it, just pesticides. Introduced in the mid-1990s, synthetic neonicotinoids share the chemical structure of the nicotine and attack the central nervous system of the insects. The United uh, Nations warned last year that 40% of pollinators, particularly bees and butterflies, risk global extinction. So, uh, again, this is good news, but will it ever happen in the U.S.? Uh, because it seems like probably not. Because um, the United States is, is kind of run by uh, these these big corporations that uh, produce these poisons, and well, big corporations that produce everything. Um, so uh, anyway, a little 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 touch of good news there. So yeah, a little bit. So say hooray! Hooray! <laughs> now, now the other day, and you you probably didn't hear about it because it was probably out of the news by the time you got home. Okay. I, I I don't know. Um, I was listening to uh, was it Clyde Lewis last night. Might, might have been okay. coast, might have been coast to coast. I don't know. Um, but anyway, the other day, uh, the White House was put on lockdown as uh, an uh, object flew into the airspace near the White House. Okay. Oh, I saw that. I okay. saw a little blurb about right. it in the morning. And, and, yeah. and when I when I first read it, it said uh, a small plane had done it. And then they put the, the White House in lockdown. And I thought to myself, what a bunch of frickin' pussies, these guys at the, at the White House. They can't handle a small plane coming in. And then later on, it turned out they said, well, um, it, it, maybe it wasn't a small plane. Maybe it was uh, this or that, some other thing. And then uh, what I heard last night on the radio was they're, they're now saying it was a flock of seagulls. And, what? <laughs> and, and, my, and my mind immediately went to that band from the 90s, the Flock of Seagulls. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, what are they doing flying over the White House? But, <laughs> <laughs> oh but, but apparently that not, um, what, what, I, what they were talking about on the radio last night uh, was that it was probably a UFO. So anyway, the article, the, the article here from one of the mainstream outlets, UPI, uh, re- reports on the Flock of Seagulls theory. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, That's funny. A violation of airspace that prompted White House lockdown was false alarm. Uh, the reported airspace violation that resulted in the lockdown of the White House on Tuesday turned out to be a false alarm. The North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD, said uh, when uh, Major Andrew Hennessy of NORAD identified the object flying near the White House appeared to be an aircraft, but that assessment was changed after the Coast Guard helicopter was sent to investigate. Upon further, oh, yeah. upon further investigation, we found there was no aircraft. Uh, the Secret Service locked down the White House for about 30 minutes Tuesday after the suspected flying objects violated the secure airspace surrounding the executive residence. 
The agency said the lockdown was initiated when the object flew inside a per prohibited perimeter around the White House. Authorities scrambled fighter aircraft, and the U.S. Capitol uh, was halted briefly as a result of the incursion. The lockdown was lifted less than an hour later, according to the Secret Service. Uh, that NORAD said the flying object was not deemed hostile. Uh, some interagency officials are monitoring the situation. How do you monitor something that ain't there? On a national event conference call. Our jet fighters are on site and responding. Responding to what? You said there was nothing there. Uh, Capitol, <laughs> the Capitol Police told CNN the flying object may have been a flock of birds. Oh, my God. Uh, no. Based on how slowly it was moving and how it appeared on radar. But let me say this. What I heard, you spelled predict wrong there, Flesh. Uh, what I heard on the radio last night was this object not only flew directly over the White House, it hovered there. And when the fighter jets approached it, it flew away at extreme speed, much faster right. than the, much faster than these jets could fly. Yep. Doesn't sound like it was a flock of seagulls, and it, and it doesn't sound uh, like it was a small plane, and no, it doesn't it sound like it was nothing. Um, it, no. it, de it definitely sounds like there was something there, and they are lying, of course, yes. which they do. Um. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Ooh, look at that fish. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I'm, I'm thinking it was that band. What, what songs does Flock of Seagulls sing? Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> They're up there doing a little impromptu concert. Yeah. Yeah. So, Trying try, try to, try to do a comeback, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Now, this article I found interesting, although it doesn't tell me where to get it. And, and I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed by that because I want to know where I can get it, and probably you do too if you are anything at all like me. Yeah. <clears throat> DMT puts your brain into a waking dream state. New study <laughs> shows researchers have often speculated about DMT having a connection to both dreaming and near-death experiences. So the study led by a team of researchers at the Center for Psychedelic Research, I want to go there, uh, yeah. <laughs> at the Imperial College in London, recently published in the journal Scientific Reports, demonstrated that people under the influence of DMT, or dimethyltryptamine, show brainwave patterns similar to a dreaming state while they are awake. In the study, 13 participants were given DMT in a research lab while they were hooked up to electrodes that measured the brain's electrical activity during different stages in their experience. The data showed DMT significantly changed the electrical activity that takes place in the brain, causing a reduction in alpha waves, waves which are typically very active during waking states, and an increase in theta waves, which are, which are associated with dreaming Christopher Timmerman, one of the lead researchers in the study, said that DMT creates different brain patterns than other psychedelic, psychedelic substances. Uh, hmm. The changes in the brain activity that accompany DMT are slightly different from what we see with other psychedelics such as psilocybin or LSD, where we see mainly only reductions in brain waves. Here we saw the emergent, emergent rhythm that was present during the most intense part of the experience, suggesting an emerging, uh, emerging order amidst other chaotic patterns of brain activity. From the altered brain waves and participants' reports, it's clear these people are completely immersed in their experience. Um, it is like daydreaming, only far more vivid and immersive. It's like dreaming with your eyes open. But again, as I pointed out here, uh, they don't tell you where to get the DMT. And <laughs> no, they don't tell you that. And, and, and I want to. I want some. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Give me some of that stuff. <laughs> now, now I understand that ayahuasca is heavy in the DMT. Um, yes. But I, again, I don't know where to get ayahuasca either. 
unless no. I unless I travel to South America, which is unlikely for me to do. So, right. um, but yeah, I have a I have a, a very strong interest in, in experiencing the DMT effect. Yeah, me too. Because uh, it sounds wonderful. It does. <laughs> You're welcome, Flesh. Oh man. <laughs> okay. How much did you spend yesterday on Thanksgiving dinner? Uh, I don't know. Well, approximation. I don't know. Fifty bucks. Really? Fifty bucks for three of you? Uh, maybe less. Okay. The turkey less. was twenty, so yeah, it was less than fifty, I'm sure. All yeah. right. Well, maybe maybe they're more accurate than I thought they were, but okay. maybe not. According to the Farm Bureau, they say it costs sixty-two dollars to feed a family of ten for Thanksgiving. Oh, I believe that. Sixty-two bucks for for ten people. Yeah. All right. Well. So you're gonna get a huge turkey. You're gonna make ten pounds of potatoes. I mean. All right. All right. Okay, anyway, the article says it's no surprise that Americans eat the most on Thanksgiving Day and feeding everyone can be expensive. How much do you think it costs for a family of 10? Uh, the Farm Bureau said it was $62. Uh, 41 Action News talked to a couple people and they were skeptical. No, I don't think so, one woman said, adding that food prices were high. For 10 yeah. people? For 10 people? So that's like maybe one serving, no leftovers, huh? No, we can't do that. Uh, 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake grabbed everything on the Farm Bureau's list. She had to make some slight adjustments and picked what she felt would feed 10 people with plenty of leftovers. At Sunfresh in Westport, the grand total was $102.89, which go. seems more realistic to me. So around this time, you can normally find some great deals on things like butter rolls, boxed stuffing, ooh, and even the turkey. Uh, Plake even spotted a name brand tub of whipped cream for 48 cents. Okay. Um, she paid close attention to the best deals at Price Chopper. A generic mm -hmm. brand 20 pound turkeys was 78 cents a pound. Uh, the Farm Bureau list calls for a 16 pound turkey, but at that price, she figured might as well go for the big one. Uh, turkey, right. ca turkey came out to $15.63 with $18 in savings. Um, Either way, uh, it, it seems to me it would be a bit more. Now, we all know Beatles a little extravagant, and he said he spent $300. Um, right. <laughs> so, uh, on four people or something like that, which is like 75 bucks a person, which, yeah. seems, which seems a little extreme. Uh, but yeah, you know, it does. I, I told him about his gold-plated turkey, so. Yeah. <laughs> um <coughs> I had to get a fresh turkey, and it was one twenty nine a pound, so it right. was like 20-some dollars. Uh, cir circle. Cir just under 13. Yeah, cir Circle points out, I know where I can get DMT, I just don't want to go there. True, true enough. <laughs> and and right. Fla Flash said he spent zero dollars on Turkey Day. Well, that's uh, good. Because he doesn't do Turkey Day. <laughs> oh, all right, anyway, so uh, kind of interesting, you know, Turkey Day saying, uh, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know what I spent on myself. I bought a little uh, three-pound turkey roast, which was eight dollars. And mm -hmm. I, I'm sure my total was probably twenty bucks or something for yeah. everything. I, you know, I buy olives and and uh, mm -hmm. and yams and uh, um, oh, I bought those little pickles, those little sweet pickles. Oh, okay. I don't know. Those are like four bucks for a jar or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, and uh, potatoes. I already had potatoes, so I didn't need to buy any, but. <laughs> potatoes, right. potatoes are cheap. That's all I know about. They are. Potatoes, yeah. You get five pounds for like three dollars or something. <laughs> well, no, they had a they had deals around here. Uh, festival had five pounds for ninety eight cents. Yeah, well, see, that's awesome. Um, yeah, it was good. So, <laughs> anyway, I, I don't know what people spend, but um, Thanksgiving is generally not cheap. Uh, but uh, uh, whatever, you know. Um. Okay. Anyway. Right. <laughs> but speaking of uh, food and livestock and such mm -hmm. things, I found this article interesting. <laughs> yeah. 
on the Daily Mail dot com. Okay. Virtual reality for cows. What? <laughs> yeah, they swear. They swear it works. Oh, uh, God. Okay. So, uh, Russian dairy f- dairy farm fits animals with headsets to improve their well being and improve <laughs> and improve production. Headsets were fitted to a herd of cows in some Krags of Zonogorks farm near Moscow. The study revealed a reduction in anxiety and improvement in overall mood. I don't know how you tell when a cow's mood is improved or not, but hey, you know. Agricultural industry is beginning to use robotics to improve cow comfort. Other farmers in Moscow may have used classical music to relax their animals. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, the Russian dairy farm strapped virtual reality headsets to cows in an experiment to improve their well-being and increase milk production. Farmers worked with developers, vets, and consultants uh, at the farm near Moscow to beam the cattle a simulation of a summer field. The, st- the study reviewed reduced anxiety and improved overall emotional mood in the herd. Again. How do you tell if a cow's emotional mood is improved? I don't know. Right. <laughs> How you feeling there, Bessie? Uh, <laughs> they go by production levels. I guess. An upcoming part of the study will observe whether the improved overall mood has a positive effect on milk production. Oh, okay. The hardware... Yeah, I thought they just said it didn't do it. it didn't well, do it. it was an ongoing test thing. Okay. Uh, the hardware was developed by taking a human VR headset and molding it to the specifications of the animal's head. Uh, IT specialists when, uh, then tweaked the color palette in the software to make it more suitable to the animal's unique vision. Though not colorblind... And I I just don't know how they know this. Colors, cows can't see red or green and only perceive dull shades of yellow and blue. Huh. How how do they know this? I do not know how they know that. (laughs) The the Ministry of Agriculture referred to Dutch and Scottish research findings that environmental conditions have a significant impact on cow health and, as a consequence, the quality and quantity of milk produced. Uh, They added the agricultural industry is increasingly relying on robotics to improve the emotional welfare of cattle. In America, automated rotating brushes are used to massage the cattle. In other parts of Moscow, farmers play classical music to relax them into producing more milk. In Europe, the automation of milking has allowed farmers more time to inspect the udder's hooves and general well-being. Of the herd. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, That's cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's something, man. Uh, uh, cows walking around with VR headsets on. I, I don't know. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we got a picture. You can, you can look at the picture of the cow there with the VR headset on if you want. <laughs> it's <laughs> kind of funny. Um, <laughs> anyway... All right, let's play, some, let's play some more tunes here. Okay, I'll just do that. Oh, oh it's 11.30. It's, I didn't realize it was already 11.30. Oh. 12.30. Well, for you. For me, it's 12.30, right? Yeah, this, this may be a... All right, we may, we may be pushing it, but that's all right. We'll have time. We'll have time. We'll okay, we'll have a all few, right. A few minutes after. I didn't realize it was so late already. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Since we haven't played any of them today, here's some Joe B. Ah, oh, yeah, very nice, very nice. We had a triple set there, a triple play of hard rockin' blues there. Albert Castiglia, Search in the Desert for the Blues. Uh, before that was Omar and the Howlers, Hard Times in the Land of Plenty, which has kind of been a theme for tonight's show, Hard Time in the Lands of Plenty. And we kicked it off with Joe Bonamassa uh, doing uh, Bex Bolaro and Rice Pudding from the British Blues Explosion. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's some mighty fine, mighty fine stuff, let me tell oh, yeah. you. 
uh, across the board, some just great, great, great stuff there. Um, so, yeah. All right. So we got a few couple minutes left to uh, talk about a couple things. Okay. And let's see what we got to talk about, to tell you about here in the last right. in the last closing minutes. Um, tech stories, I guess. Tech stories. Uh, uh, where, 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 where's my one about PI? Yeah, here it is. Uh, the, the private internet access, the uh, VPN provider that I and several others here use, and uh, apparently has uh, become one of the largest VPN providers in the world. Um, is being acquired by a company called Cape. Uh, as far as I can tell, it shouldn't really be a big deal. Um, uh, the, the, as, as the operational uh, methods should should stay the same, but we will have to keep an eye on it. So uh, PIA, Pri- Private Internet Access, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, as far as I know, you'll still be safe using them. Um, so it's just something to keep an eye on whenever a, a company, big company like this, uh, changes hands. You got to watch out and see what's going to go on with that. But uh, it is the the, the best one, uh, as far as I can tell. So just uh, something to something to watch out for, something to watch to be careful of. Um, okay, this uh, next thing, uh, interesting and possibly great. Uh, in upcoming systems, uh, Ubuntu 19.10, it's fast, like make old hardware feel new fast. So uh, the, the new version of Ubuntu, which is basically uh, the, the speed speed changes in this are, are due to the desktop changes uh, in GNOME 3. Um, so uh, this is something that uh, I'm going to wait for Mint to start uh, using... Ubuntu 19.10, they use a 18.4 right now. Um, and this 19.10 is not, at this point, a uh, long-term service uh, version, but uh, the, the, the version is coming out, the GNOME 3.34, um, apparently it just jams. And if, if you get that desktop on your Linux system... Um, Meteor light? No, I don't know what he's talking about there. Um, <laughs> so uh, just just keep your eyes uh, out peeled. If you are an Ubuntu user, um, this may be something for you to look. At. An Ubuntu user that is more into the experimental newer versions of Ubuntu. Let me say. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I like Mint. Mint's, Mint's great. Uh, so when, when Mint changes over to nineteen point ten. Uh, that that'll that'll be awesome, but uh, until that time, I'm gonna, I'm going to stick with whatever Mint's using, uh, and and on uh, the the Mint version that I run, which is the newest, um, it's using a, an 18.x version of Ubuntu. So, uh, but anyway, it sounds great. And if you got an old machine that you just want to fire up and, and put some put put an OS on, worth mm-hmm. checking into definitely. Um, I'm gonna say that that's gonna that's gonna be something if you like you know an old I, I don't want to say a 486. <laughs> but an older computer that uh, doesn't have a lot of power to it uh, that, that cool. might that might be something for you to look at. Um, uh, speaking of Ubuntu, uh, and and I should have probably talked about this a while ago uh, or a couple weeks ago anyway. Uh, but Dell uh, is betting big on Ubuntu Linux for laptops uh, for developers. So if you're looking to get a uh, new computer and you're kind of a power user, um, mm-hmm. um, which that goes also for people that do a lot of uh, graphics or gaming or broadcasting, um, and you want to go the Ubuntu route, uh, check out some of these Dells. They got some pretty good deals on, on some of these power machines. Uh, they come with a 10th generation, um, either i5 or i7, uh, which, good shit, man. Um, so <laughs> it, it comes with the, the, the 1804. This is the same one uh, that Mint is using. Um, so so it's, it's something to look at. 
uh, something to think about if you're looking to get a new computer. They had prices listed here somewhere. Uh, $900 uh, for some particular laptops um, with, with decent hardware, you know. So, And it's a Dell, so uh, mm-hmm. you're, you're probably pretty safe using them. Um, they, they don't put too much garbage on, on their machine, so... Uh, like I said, you're probably okay with all that. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, just something, just something to think about to look into uh, for for those of you considering a new machine. But if you got an old machine, that Ubuntu 19.10 sounds like a good deal for you, um, and it's free. So <laughs> fire up your old old machine and, and throw that throw that old uh, that new Ubuntu on there. All right, so uh, let's wrap it up here. As we do with this. Okay. <laughs> All right, a little lark and pull there to close it out with Black Betty. So uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. That's going to wrap it up here for the Freakers Ball for tonight. So uh, tomorrow, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow you get the dark table at noon Eastern with Slash and maybe Vinny. I don't know. Uh, Grammy's out of town, so we know that much. Um, blah, 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 blah. What else? What else? What else? Uh, I'll be on Sunday at noon Eastern with the Blues. I'm going to play Trevor here in the chat. Yep. And then uh, no, 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 no. after me is Hal Anthony. Anyway, check the schedule on reallybitymedia.com for all the shows that are coming up throughout the week. Got anything else? No, I don't. All right, everybody have a great weekend. Talk to you all later. Yep. Peace. Peace.